Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding in our black uh, line work detail. Here, let's make it easy to get the focus. There we are. I had already started as we had allowed the uh, the gold glitter gel to to harden and dry on her legs for her boots. Put the cuts in between her boot legs. And then for the trim of her gold and blue leather dye. Now we're working right here where we're going to define the black by filling that in by letting black ink sink in as we outline it to where it's going to go. Um, this is what it looks like. And if we and for our um, visual reference material, we got uh, one of Woman Endless Winter photograph which has the, all the high details where you can see that it has inlaid black inside the lines and our, our collectible has no uh, line work and it's a little bit more of a golden appearance here and there's a little more of a leather strap which we get right here to the certain extent and then after, beyond that it's not painted never so I'm going to be working on that next as I bring her to more realistic portrayal as what we get here on the back of our McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse designed by Mr. Todd McFarlane and this winner from Justice League's series. So this is our renderation of it. So. We're going to go ahead and lay her on down onto our workbench and we're going to start adding in these lines that you see. Um, the, the line work that I am using for in case you want to try it out for yourself is called Color Outside the Line, set of 60 gel pens, 12 glitter, 12 neon, 12 metallic. 12 pastel and 12 classic colors so we got the 12 metallic, metallic which we're going to later use to touch up so if we got a metallic black since we have this already going in here we're going to touch that up so that way when it dries it's going to give it a little more metallic luster to her uh, breastplate and chest plate and it's just a matter of just coloring and not deviating outside of that because the paint is easy to pick up as far as if you were to color outside this line the paint will pick it up and it'll look sloppy it is now 5 30 so at six o'clock we'll go ahead and check out those no bakes being baked right now so I'm gonna go ahead and color this in as best as I can make sure that we're actually getting inside of the line and not actually on the uh, figure plate itself okay so now that we have applied our uh, our black paint to her breastplate we're gonna allow that to dry it may not look the greatest right now but it look just as good as this as a photo when we're done so you can see the black lines in the photo and then here's the black lines. In her life. So we're going to allow that to dry. Now we're going to go through and we're going to go and see about our metallic colors from our color outside the lines. 
So we got this metallic gold here that we're gonna you can use. I'm looking at this uh, metallic red. I'm gonna bust this out. Now we're gonna see what we can go ahead and test. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, we'll just put this way as an option. Um, what else can we use? Uh, we need a brown, just like a like a leathery looking brown. For the straps. And a blue, yeah, we need a metal. Let's look, see if we can find us a nice offshoot blue, which this looks like this could be the one. And we're gonna go over the stitching. Oh, the hem part right here where it's all stitched. So we're gonna hit this up with the blue on each side. And I think that'll make it look make it pop out some more. So bust this out and just kinda see. As you can see, I have already started applying some of the blue for the, the blue color stitching for the leather. Let's see if I can get the focus right here. I'll see if I zoom in a little bit more. So you can kind of see. Undo. So now, we're coating the spur knit along. So we're, we, got, we got the before. We got the in process of progress. the stitching so we're gonna do that throughout the entirety of her stitching pattern and we're just gonna go ahead and just uh, approach the back side first because that's where we'll have the least contact so we want to get that painted first so Nope. 
Now we got the stitching field. And as, as we allow it to sit, we'll work on the other stitching. To bring up some more of the boot pattern along her legs for the other blue. Okay, so after adding in our uh, detail, as you can see, I went ahead and right where the stitching is at, I went and colored that in with metallic as well as color this in as well, metallic blue, as we work our way around. So that's what it looks like so far with that. Metallic sheen baby blue threading to go with her uh, blue leather outfit. So, as you can see, she has come along terrific. So, as we allow her to dry for our modification, first we're going to go ahead and uh, outline it first with our metallic templates with our colors that we're using before we go and mix it up with uh, Tamai Takeo's yellow and red for the gold and that's going to be for these portions her tiara, her breastplate, her uh, belt buckle, her uh, entirety of her outfit at the same time, we're trying to get ourselves too glitterified that we leave glitter marks all over our uh, Wonder Woman unintentionally in spots that's not supposed to be it. And then for a uh, quick dry, I got, I got her next to the heater. So that way it'll soften up the plastic as well as superheat and liquefy as well as cool down the plastic gel and to the casting that I am making so that way it will sit more permanently and won't be wiped away. is what one leg looks like so far and if we were to stand up and look at her in our display as she does our stop motion animation and finger photography you can just kind of see it just glimmer and glisten even more making her pop out more so we're going to get started on her secondary leg which is this one right here that we're putting up right you want to go as far as you want to go without overstressing. I mean, if you want to go ahead and take her apart, go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to do that because I like her how she is right now where she's all tight and snug. So I'm going to go ahead and start inking right now. What you see me doing? And just going over the area before I move on to the next. That way, all uh, this nice metallic blue, baby blue seeps right into the seam <laughs> we're not making our own line we're just following the the line that was set before us I right, just pretty much just making it how the figure was intended to be made of our representation of our Wonder Woman Due to probably time constraints, due to time constrictions and deadlines, did he did the best that he could do, and then from there, he, he uh, probably figured we'd uh, take it from there. So now that we got that portion of her outer thigh of her leather painted, we're gonna go ahead and sit her up so that way. The, the paint right here, if, if it were to be drippy, it will drip all the way down. 
and then it will drip into the parts where it will be hard and inaccessible to reach normally due to the thickness of our pen where it will let nature do it gradually for us and fill in the color where we ourselves would not be able to reach without destroying or taking away from our Wonder Woman Endless Winter from DC so that's what she looks like so far so far so what you have seen today in one of my tutorials I went ahead and modified the boots by adding in this metallic gold as you can see right here that way when you look at it it has a shadow so that way when you look at it at every angle it is defined and then we started there with the boots and then we put our outlined our um, skirt with her gold trim and that allowed that to dry and as you can see from her moving around I might still have to go ahead and reapply some more which is okay as, as that is our template and then we add the color into her breastplate making it uh, dark so that way we can go ahead and see more of the detailed lines of what we're, we're supposed to see now we're working on making the blue stitching the baby blue stitching to her leather outfit pop out pop out some more as originally intended by mr Todd McFarlane so and the, her other leg you see that paint drying right there let's get that to focus there we are and now we got this other side of her paint drying as well and you know like I was saying uh, uh, due to the drippy portions of it it was able to hit the bottom corner without over spilling onto the paint or onto the painted leather portion so now we're gonna go ahead and finish putting in the rest of the stitching leading all the way up to her backside where we'll have to let that dry completely and then I don't want to take off her her fur cloak until it's time to modify it and put a new one on but in the meantime we're just gonna go ahead and start uh, applying our uh, metallic blue to match her metallic blue stitching to match with her leather outfit so here's what our Wonder Woman now looks like after applying our metallic pink to her seams and then <sighs> Touching up where the seams are at. As we work both sides of her legs simultaneously to reveal the stitching. And the metallic blue stitch. I kind of had a, a kind of do a, uh, like a visualization for how the line would be for the stitching towards her uh, gluteus maximus region. So that way it would look even. I think I did a good job. So this is what she's starting to look like now. So this is what uh, she looks like right now after adding in some more of the stitch in detail. And as you can see, it's a little bit blank right there, so I'm going to have to design and formulate my own line. Uh, be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so after etching in uh, the pen, 
she looks a lot, lot more how uh, she is supposed to be envisioned to look like. And I don't want to stress that out because I don't want that to be folded over. And then I still got paint on there that's still drying, and I don't want that to end up having to get repainted again. Which I might have to because of my fingers, my thumbs, um, pulling back that uh, skirt portion in order for me to paint underneath with my blue metallic pen. So we're going to let this dry, and then keep in mind that on her back side of her skirt, we still got some more metallic paint that we're, that's drying that we don't want to rub off onto the, the red leather of her outer layer of her uh, felt skirt. So we're going to go back, take a look at our visual reference material. Yeah, but as you can see, the stitching right there is evident. Where they, where Tom McFarland was like, well, baby blue stitching, leather, round leather. So I'm like, yep, I'll go ahead and get that in there. So now I got the baby blue stitching on there, as shown. Now we got the breastplate. We got the gold for the for around uh, her belt area, the skirt. The electricity yellow for her boots. That's you know harnessing her powers and such. And now uh, we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna retouch this up. Like this gold right down here again. And then we allow that to dry, and then start coloring in these straps. So thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you when I see you. Keep liking.